Hey everybody, it's Joe Delera, and I've got a couple of my favorite plays for this Thursday NBA slate. The first play that we're looking at is Jalen Brown under 25 and a half points. They've raised this line to 25 and a half despite him not hitting this in any game yet so far this series against the Philadelphia 76ers. My thoughts are this has to do with the fact that it's an elimination game for Boston and they want us to think that he's going to play max minutes. Well, look, Jalen Brown's already playing almost as many minutes as he possibly can. And if we look over the course of this season and last season in the playoffs, we'll raise his minutes floor to 30 minutes a game. Seems like a respectable number there. He's only hit this in 30% of those games still. Despite increased minutes, he's not necessarily the most consistent or the most efficient. And at 25 and a half points, this is still just a bit too high. And even if we go up as high as 40 minutes on this line, he's still under this in seven of 10 playoff games over the course of this season and last season. I like Jalen Brown to go under 25 and a half points. For my next two plays, we're turning to the Denver Nuggets versus the Phoenix Suns. And look, I'm all aboard the Nuggets train. We're just going to take the Nuggets on the money line. Part of why I like this year is that Phoenix has shown that they've been completely unable to stop this Denver offense throughout the course of the series. And Denver has just been by far the better team with scoring 122 points per 100 possessions. And Phoenix, as good as their offense has been, we've just started to see it now. And when they struggle, and by they, I mean Devin Booker and Kevin Durant, they're still playing great right? They're playing at another worldly level. But if they don't play and hit basically 65% of their mid-range jumpers, this team really struggles to kind of get it back going again. The other thing is they've made some tactical changes to really get more minutes from Landry Shamit to try to get a little bit more offense, TJ Warren. And we're seeing the minutes come away from Torrey Craig, Josh Kogi, and it's really hurting this defense. As a result, we're starting to see Denver's offense starting to click a little bit more again, and we're seeing Michael Porter Jr. get more shots up. And over the last couple of games, he's seen an increase, a significant increase in his three-point volume, averaging nine shots per game, but he's also made six, two, and then another five. So this has been a great spot for Michael Porter Jr., and I like him to go over his three-point prop of two and a half. And this all ties in together to say, Denver should be able to take care of business tonight on the road in Phoenix and close this series out without needing a game seven. I like Denver on the money line and you're getting it at plus 140. It's a great number for a team that I think is better and much more championship caliber. I'll take the Nuggets on the money line. So to recap, my three favorite plays for today's NBA slate are Jalen Brown under 25 and a half points, the Denver Nuggets on the money line, and Michael Porter Jr. over two and a half threes. Best of luck on your wagers today and enjoy the rest of your Thursdays.